Hi, hello, good morning. This is P. Shivashankar. Today we are going to discuss about construction of ellipse by general method. So this uh, general method can also be called in many other ways that is focus directrix method, fixed point fixed line method, eccentricity method and so on. So any name is given but the construction procedure is same as well. So now let us go into the construction of the ellipse. So now what are the different types or different methods to construct an ellipse? Let us see how many types. Not only the general method, <coughs> we are having different methods are there for the construction of the ellipse. So the first one is general method. It can be called as in various forms that is eccentricity method, focus directrix method, fixed point fixed line method. Okay, so behind this video T R I X is there directrix D I R E C T R I C right behind this video. Okay, then next uh, go for arc of circles method. So this is another uh, method to construction uh, uh, ellipse and third one is oblong method. It is also called as the rectangle method of construction of an ellipse. And fourth one is parallelogram method. Fifth one concentric circle method. Right. So then next uh, we will go for a general method and eccentricity method or focus directrix method with a simple problem. How we are going to construct and what are the construction procedures and what are the details and how to construct it. By step by step procedures I will tell you. So please carefully listen what the steps that you are going to do and uh, next I will show you the animated uh, presentation. You will clearly understood what is the thing and first of all what you do is when I give you the stepwise instruction write down your the steps then next you read the steps and just you go on go through the video then ultimately you will understand how to construct an ellipse by general method very 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 easily right thank you now let us go for the problem <coughs> Draw an ellipse by using a centricity method or focus directrix method when the distance of focus from the directrix is 50 mm and eccentricity is 2 by 3. And also draw the tangent and normal at any point on the curve. So, right, this is the problem. So, one way uh, I want to suggest to your students is don't confuse or don't uh, uh, overthink that too. this so much question is a long right so simply you have to understand what is the concept and what is the given data so by knowing the concept you can solve any kind of problem whether the question is given in any manner so twisting questions are not done. so if an examiner gives a paper in any manner you should be able to answer if you know the concept it is very clear <coughs> so right now see what is the given data so the given data the focus point distance from the directrix is 50 mm and the eccentricity is 2 by 3 so you should know what is the definition of the eccentricity by seeing the picture also you will be noticed that what is the definition of eccentricity so right learn now look into the construction here and this is the final picture of the constructed ellipse by the general method so now you can look over just i will simply explain what is what thoroughly and after that we will go for the animation video Right, so now you can see the vertical line here AB. So here it is A and here it is B. So AB is a vertical line, it is called as the directrix. Right, okay. And you take the midpoint of AB, put it as C, and draw a line, horizontal line, which is perpendicular to the line AB. 
so that this line C is called as the axis. Okay, C is called the axis. After drawing these two, after drawing these two, what you should do is you have to locate the point F. Point F. So what is this F? So this is the distance of the focus point from the directrix. So in the problem it is given as 50. So you have to locate oh, the point F on the axis line. F right. After that you have to locate the vertex point. How you should locate the vertex point? So as the given data, if you see the if you see over the previous slide, uh, so here the eccentricity is given as 2 by 3. So what is 2 and what is 3? This is nothing but the two parts and this is the three parts. Okay, two parts and this is three parts. Totally the distance is about five parts. So from where to where? So from C to F. The C to F line is divided to 5 equal parts. Why 5 equal parts? Because the definition of the eccentricity says that the distance from the moving point to the focus, moving point to the focus divided by moving point to the directrix, moving point to the directrix. So that simply I can say that eccentricity definition is nothing but Vf by Vc. So Vf, what is the value of Vf? Vf by Vc is equal to 2 by 3. So in the further explanations, you will be noticed that Vf is what is Vf and what is Vc. So Vf by Vc is nothing but the eccentricity definition. Simply remember Vf by Vc, that is nothing but eccentricity. Right? Okay. After that, locate the point V, then next divide the axis line from point V to up to the end with to many uh, many number of equal parts. So how many much how many is required that many parts are going to be done. Then from each and every equal part of this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 draw the perpendicular lines to the axis. Draw the perpendicular lines to the axis. Then next. So from V draw a vertical line perpendicular to the axis. By taking V F as a radius, just simply you can draw this one. So we'll go into the main matter to the animation. So let us go for the construction procedure from one by one. So first one, draw any vertical line A B as a directrix. Second, at any point C on the directrix line, draw an axis line which is perpendicular to the directrix. Make a focus point on the axis line such that CF is equal to 50 mm. Divide CF into 5 equal parts that is eccentricity is equal to V by F sorry VF by VC is equal to 2 by 3 that is equal to VF part is a straight line VC part is a straight line so that 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 that is nothing but sum of the numerator and the denominator of eccentricity. Next mark the vertex point at 3 from the directrix or 2 from the focus, no problem. From the vertex point V, draw a perpendicular line VB such that VB is equal to VF, join CB and extend it. Seventh point is from the vertex point, divide the axis line into any number of equal parts, say about 12, 13 or 14, whatever it is. Next. Draw the perpendicular lines through the points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. These lines meet the line CB at 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, and so on like that. Up to 12 dash. So F as a center, F as a center, 1 and 1 dash as a radius. Draw two arcs on both sides of the axis line. These Point of intersections are called as P1 and P1 dash, right? Next, repeat the above steps up to 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, like that, up to 12, 12 dash. Then next, mark all the intersection points as P1, P2, P3 and P1 dash, P2 dash, P3 dash, so on. So now, draw a smooth hand curve passing through P1, P2, P3, P4 up to P2. 
12 and p1 dash p2 dash like that so that it were required ellipses completed so now let us go for the animation so now see here i have drawn a vertical line ab then next i locate a midpoint c drawn an axis line okay next i have put a point f i'll write it as f okay then next what is the distance up to the f it is 50 mm now draw a vertical line here okay it is clear then next i will divide the line cf into five equal parts so one two three four by the line division method so already you have been going for the line division method right okay now i have to locate the point v where is the point v third point from c directrix okay so from f so this is the point v third point from directrix second point from this one second division from focus okay <clears throat> now draw a vertical line from v okay right so from vf as a radius you draw an arc vf as a radius draw an arc locate this point as b then next is join cb and extend it okay then next after this you have to divide the axis line from v to many number of equal parts so one two three four like this so put equal dots okay like this so you go on repeating and give the numbering one two three four like this five six seven eight nine ten and twelve then next draw the perpendicular lines from these respective points what you have made right from all these lines 9 10 11 and 12 okay after drawing all these perpendicular lines what you have to do is take and the top line so incline line c b on the other or c b one one dash two 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 dash three dash four dash five dash you give the naming like that so after completing the naming up to 12 dash so one as the one as a center and one dash as radius so this is the length so one one dash as length f as a center you make an arc on top of the axis and below the axis next two two dash two two dash as a radius f as a center you make an arc here and arc here next three three dash as a distance or radius f as a center make arc on both sides of the axis next four four dash as a center, radius f as a center make an arc on both sides okay like this so repeat the steps up to the end of the constructional procedure up to where we'll get it okay <clears throat> so finally after getting all these points you name this point of intersections with the different names so here this is p2 this is p3 p4 p5 p6 p7 p8 p9 10 11 and this is p12 and once again here p1 dash p2 dash p3 dash p4 dash so so on up to p11 dash and finally you will get a smooth curve passing all this area from this point of intersection is the required ellipse by general method so now one thing is left out so how to draw the normal and tangent from any one of the point so now take any point on the curve so here is the point i have taken right from this point i have to draw a line to the focus right this is the line drawn to the focus so after drawing the line to the focus you have to draw a perpendicular line to this particular line up to the directrix okay locate this point as m this taken point as m draw a line up to the focus and then next the this line perpendicular look up to the directrix name it as t from this particular point to the taken point that is m on the curve if you draw a line passing through it it is called as the tangent okay so right 
all of you know that normal is nothing but the perpendicular line to the tangent is nothing but the normal so where you have to draw that normal?